Hello Booktube! Today I'm going to be reprising one of the alphabet tags created by Jim of Jim's Books, Reading, and Stuff. Today, the G tag. G is for the Great American Novel. What do you consider the Great American Novel? This um, question um, periodically pops up on Booktube. Just recently, The Atlantic, I believe, released a list of 130 to 150 novels published between 1923 and 2023 that they consider to be candidates for the Great American Novel. Now, such a large number of candidates probably argues against the need for the Great American Novel, which is often more aspirational than actual. Um, and of course, probably a sign of an, in, an enduring um, literary inferiority complex. Um, now, one thing that that list did do for me, or to me, is that it um, briefly inspired a desire to read a bit more deeply in American fiction, although that desire was thankfully fairly brief, because I have this weird periodic desire to focus on things even though once I actually get around to the reading, I mean the collecting is fun, but the actual reading does not often turn out well for me at all. Um, so this Prompt is asking um, what you consider the greatest um, American novels of the 19th, 20th, and 21st century, which I think was um, developed by Steve Donahue, if I'm not mistaken. This is several years ago. Anyway, so I think the great American novel is at its best, or at its most ideal is a novel that engages in themes that are quintessentially American. So themes of immigration and migration, of race relations, of um, class rising um, or declining. Um, and if I were to pick uh, the best candidate from the 19th century probably would be The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. The 20th century, I am not so sure about. There are a lot of candidates for the great American novel of the 20th century. I know I've gone traditionally with The Grips of Wrath by John Steinbeck because I've actually read it, even though my reread attempt from a few months ago did not go well at all. But I guess I can still say The Grips of Wrath because... I haven't really read any of the other candidates, or I've bailed on the other candidates. And for the 21st century, I I don't really have an idea of who that could be. I mean, maybe The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Shaben, even though I bailed on it. And I've never actually finished it, so yeah. G is for many countries like Guatemala, Guyana, Grenada, Greece, Greenland, Germany, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conarchy, yeah, and Georgia. What was the last book you read by an author from a country beginning with G? So I've never read anything from a writer from Guatemala, Guyana, Grenada, Greenland, uh, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry, and Georgia. The last book I've read by a Greek was The Complete Poems of Cavafy by Constantin Cavafy, even though he might also count as Egyptian. I mean, he wrote in Greek, but he lived his entire life in Egypt, so not entirely sure. If he doesn't count, then it would be uh, The Complete or Selected Poems of George Seferis. And as for Germany, a few weeks ago, I bailed on Vertigo by um, Harold Yonner, uh, translated by Sean Whiteside, which is a history of the Weimar Republic, which 
existed between 1918, uh, the German deposition of, or the deposition of the Hohenzollerns and other German royal houses, and 1933, the election of Adolf Hitler as chancellor, or appointment of Adolf Hitler as chancellor of Germany, uh, which I didn't get on with. Um, I might come back to it, but I just, it, I really didn't connect to it. G is for Georgia. Have you read any books by Georgian authors or about Georgia? So here I'm not entirely sure if this is Georgia the country or Georgia the state. Um, so about Georgia, I haven't read anything about Georgia. There was a history of Georgia that came out around the time this tag was created but I never got around to picking it up. And as for the state, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, G is gone for Gone with the Wind, set in the U.S. state of Georgia. Have you read Gone with the Wind? And if so, what did you think of it? When I was in eighth grade, um, I attempted to read Gone with the Wind. And failed after, I think, a chapter. It was, I think, one of Scarlet's love interests and his brother, or maybe it was a friend, riding up to the plantation. Um, but I'm just like, no, 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 I don't want to read this. This is not capturing my interest, though. So, meh. I bailed on it. G is for genre. Is there a book genre you would avoid? Probably self-help books, um, for the most part. Uh, G is for Goodreads. If you use Goodreads, what are your statistics like? Uh, books read, books you want to read, average rating, book reviews written. I don't use Goodreads. Um, I basically, my bookish presence on social media, or my presence on social media is on BookTube. Um, I don't do anything else. And I'm not particularly all that fond of Goodreads in general. And yeah, so that was the G tag. If you would like to do this tag, um, consider yourselves tagged, particularly if you've been on BookTube. Uh, after this tag was created. So anyway, BookTube, I have another tag to do. So until then, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe. Mm.